All right, so for this problem, um, when looking at it, it looks a little bit diffi more different, um, or it looks, it's obviously different than the problem that I previously solved, right? But all I want you guys to do is, when adding, just make sure you do the vertical method. So therefore, all I have is 3x squared. Now, I don't have an x term, right? So you could do this a couple ways. You could rewrite it as 0x plus 5 if you'd like. You don't have to. But if you want a place to kind of um, a place value, you could put it as 0x because 0 times x is obviously 0. And then you're, you know, anything added to 0 is just going to be your original term. And then here, I have 7 minus x squared plus x. And I gave you this problem for a reason, because when doing the vertical method, you can only combine your like terms. So therefore, I'm not going to write this as 7 minus x squared plus x, because then these terms, when I add vertically, aren't the same terms, right? So what I have to do is I have to rearrange my second term. So therefore, it's negative x squared plus x minus x squared. Now again, you, you could leave this as the 0x or plus x. Either way, when you add, you'll see it's not going to change. So let's add our two equations, because that's what it's asking us to do. So I have 3x squared plus negative x squared is just going to leave me with 2x squared. 0x, or just 0 plus x, is just going to leave me with x. Yes. Where, that's plus 7, right? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Then, on last, I have 5 plus 7, which is going to be dulce, or 12. Anybody have any questions on that? What I did? No? Good? Awesome.